Hey guys, here you're live with MVI and we are in a 2014 Cadillac SRX. Um, today we're going to do a CarPlay and Android Auto upgrade, the factory system with the built-in uh, factory navigation. As you can see, this particular vehicle just has the OnStar nav. Um, so this upgrade is good, 2013 up through 17. Cadillac SRX. Um, Cadillac never offered the CarPlay on the SRX, so this is a great way to go ahead and um, add it to it factory-wise and um, have full factory functionality, all that good stuff. So, as usual, um, let me get started tearing things apart, and we'll kind of show you the process here. So, to begin with, I went ahead and pre-did this. This is the uh, most challenging part, really, in my opinion. These little push clips right here. You got three of them. You got to get the center out of the middle, pop it up, and then pop them out. A couple lights here. This guy will come down. It does hook over the side trim panel here. And I also removed this piece here because it also hooks over that. So it just makes things easier to get out. So we'll get this guy out of our way completely. <clears throat> then from there, we've got some panels to pull apart. So over here, this guy, like you've seen in all our videos, These metal clips are tight, guys, but they do pop right out. And we're going to need to get um, this side paneling off so we can get the glove box out. So I'm just going to come and grab right down here and pull out. And if you're careful, you can get this sometimes you got to lower the seat all the way down out your way all right so you got to be careful not to scratch your panel coming up out of there. So you do kind of beat your arms up a little bit. From there we've got a seven and a seven to zap off. Also one right here. Then that'll just slide off. There was a seven right here to hold it in on the side. And then with this out the way, we can pop that off right there. From there, We're gonna want to get behind the, uh, the glove box. So this guy here needs to pop off. Usually one right there, this car's missing one. Which I will. Alright, 
this thing will just fall out guys so also there's typically a little air vent here you got to pop out which is sitting right here so the last guy that had this apart didn't put that back in i'll snap it back in when i put it back together um and then down here Unplug, get her up out of our way. And if you really want this out of your way, which I'm just gonna leave it right there, this will unplug and pull through here instead of fighting that. You can unplug it and get it out of your way, but I think we're okay there. So <clears throat> we're replacing the radio and the HMI. Both sit right here. The HMI is hidden behind the uh, the brace here so <clears throat> we've got two um, 10 millimeters here that need to be dropped down and then two sevens so go ahead zap that down That'll allow the radio now to kind of slide down like this, guys. Get it out of your way. And it just clicks in with these little side clips right here. They pry up. So just like that. And then... We've got our normal connectors here to contend with, so. One of the problems, the biggest issue is the angle, guys. Okay, do you wanna pay attention to how this thing goes back in? Especially the HMI, you do not wanna get it wrong. The HMI has a top and a bottom, and you can get this off. It is doable to get this off, and you will track wrong. So pay attention. I can see the silver is facing out, and the label's facing towards the fan motor here. So um, this needs to go back in the exact same way, or you will have issues with it. So with that said,
right, so while we're here, guys, you're going to notice this uh, new, because this is going to have to go back in just like that. And we do have a new blue GPS port we got to plug into. So, in the kit, we will supply the splitter and cables that you need. This being a 2014, the connector at the OnStar module will be maroon. Um, the OnStar module is right over here. I'll show you that here in just a second. And the blue um, goes to blue and then obviously routes over here. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug this in. So, if you got things right, it shouldn't fight you either. That's the other thing. How you know it's in there. And it should click in there nice. Sit nice and flat, not fight you, etc. That'll let us get our new radio back in. See, it all just kind of clicks into place there like it's supposed to. Do you have it in there, right? And then... Oh, that's right. So, just like it so... So, if it's in there correctly, it shouldn't fight you. If you get these 10 millimeters started, I'll hold it in place for you. And your sevens back up. Okay. So, 
Radio and HMI are in from this point. We're gonna come over here and do the OnStar module. It's kind of hard to see. The biggest problem with this, so it's this silver box right here. The biggest issue is getting to the darn cable. It's kind of a pain in the butt. And the cable we have to get to is hidden behind this harness right here that GM so kindly ran right in our way. So if you want to fight it, you can. I'm just going to take this off, get it out of my way, this bracket right here. As you've heard me say many times before, I like stuff out of my way. biggest issue here is it's everything's just so tight and we're also locked in up there we bring the longer extension by chance that's right this will work yeah let me see that sucker I have done this before guys without taking all this apart but I can't really see in here right now and it's hot so it's just gonna come out the way That's out of our way. The cable we're working with is right here. And again, it's going to be super tight. So.
here's the OnStar module. And this is what we're after here. And as you can see, these can be super tight and everything's really tight there. So if you can get it out the way and squeeze it in, great. Um, but you may fight it some. Now, if yours is a 15 and a half um, or up to 17, you're gonna have a brown connector right next to it. That's for your uh, LTE Wi-Fi. And the connector you would work with here is gonna be brown instead of maroon. So my splitter cable plug back on here maroon okay and then this is going to go on to the gray port of the splitter i'll got to come back and clean this up fix the cable which we can do it's not a problem um down back there is fine all right, so lastly is gonna be the USB port. We do supply a new USB port, but this guy has to come out when upgrading to CarPlay and Android Auto. And the best way to do this guys is with a couple picks so like you've seen before if you've got two right angle picks it's great if you go in there on the side I got this edge up. Go in and get the other edge. Pull this out. Careful not to let these fall down in there. That'll pop back in. Now we can run CarPlay and Android Auto. So let me grab a phone cable. And I don't have anything major unplugged, guys. So we are gonna go ahead and fire this thing up. Put your foot on the brake. No VIN is normal. That's how we calibrate them prior to shipping them out. It then learns the vehicle's VIN. Once you start it up, you'll never see that again. So that's completely normal. And as you can see now, we've got the nav icon. Um, and then everything else is fully functional. So let's make sure we've got audio. Get to view. Projection icon is now there. So you have to plug in for car plane Android Auto guys. Just gonna plug in right down here. I am using a generic cable guys, which is usually a no-no. Um, it's a high-end one though, so most of the time it works. And as you can see, we now have uh, CarPlay functionality. So, screen out my way here. So here's your Siri voice, guys. Press and hold. I'm gonna drop the CarPlay just now because 
this cable. So these systems, believe it or not, like to have the genuine um, Apple Lightning to USB cable in them. Or they can't give you fits. Siri, what's the weather in Broomfield, Colorado today? It's currently clear and 73 degrees in Broomfield. Expect mostly cloudy skies starting in the morning. Today's high will be 84 degrees and the low will be 66. And we've got our full texting capability back and forth here um, as well. Who do you want to send it to? Misty. What do you want to say? Testing out this CarPlay in the Cadillac SRX. Your message to Misty says testing out this CarPlay in the Cadillac SRX. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. This will also put text all the way to the top, which just, um, the way that I just sent out so if she texts me back by the time we're done with this video then um, I'll show you what's going on there but aside from that you can also go in so that's basically your home button as well you've got Apple Maps we've got uh, Google Maps somewhere yeah and Waze would be on here if I had Waze on my phone which I don't so Whatever Apple allowed apps are out for CarPlay is what you would show on here as long as they're on your phone. Um, one thing to note, steering wheel controls will work to raise the volume up and down. And also, if you're playing music from the phone, we can track up and back. Okay. But the voice control will not work for Siri. That requires a whole separate upgrade. It's about a thousand to twelve hundred bucks on these Cadillacs. So um, if you want the steering wheel button to function, you can do so. It is going to be an additional cost. Otherwise, this is your Siri button, or you can simply say, "Hey Siri, how you doing, Siri?" I'm happy to be. And not touch anything so um, that's the CarPlay and Android Auto functionality um, this would read Android Auto if you plugged in an Android phone we've also got nav which it did go ahead and lock us on since I've got the cable somewhat ricked up so now we've also got the full built-in factory navigation um, on this guy you can do this system with or without it can have an effect on your rearview camera so if you're if you've got nav now and you're thinking about um, deleting nav and going to just CarPlay only. Um, call us ahead of time so we can explain all the ins and outs, but that, but that is a, uh, a possibility as well. So, with that said, that's the upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and work on fixing this cable and getting this back together. But as you can see, start to finish, not a bad install and all. For more questions, give us a call or a text as usual. Thanks so much. Bye bye.